for this project, you're going to need an eight by eight piece of black cardstock or construction paper, some graph paper, or I have pre-labeled graph paper for you. We need a size 18 tapestry needle. You're gonna need some crochet thread, about two arms length at a time. We'll need a push pin, a glue stick, and some cardboard, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and some tape. We're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, the first thing you have to do is glue your graph paper to your black cardstock. Your graph is going to be the back of your uh, artwork and the front will be the black cardstock. So this, the shiny side is going to be my back, so I'm going to glue this into the center. Okay, once that's glued down, if you could make sure your um, graph pointing up and you put your name up there so that it is ready to go. All right, in this next part, we are going to poke holes in all of our um, spots. And I'm gonna use just a piece of cardboard so that I can push through without hurting myself. Uh, we are not going to work in zero there. We're gonna just start at each um, coordinate here, dot on the, the X axis and Y axis. two arms lengths or two table widths of your string. And then cut that out. Next we're going to thread our embroidery needle. I find it a little easier to fold it and thread it through. Okay. Now you're gonna want a little tail, but not too long, because you don't want it to come off the needle but you also don't want it to be doubled up when you're um, threading through the paper. So about there, it's about the size of our paper here. Um, and now we're gonna be ready to go. Okay, we're gonna start in our first quadrant. We're gonna go through negative one on the X axis. We'll head through the paper. We're gonna pull it all the way and then you want to be careful go slow because the thread will uh, knot up on you. So pull through so you can see already it's starting to tingle. So just kind of pull that apart and keep pulling that all the way through until you have a little tail. And we'll get to about right here. We're going to put our first piece of tape down to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. Stick it down right there, and then you're gonna make sure it's pulled nice and tight. And then you're gonna flip to the front so you can see our poked holes. And we're gonna go in now through uh, our first point on the Y axis. So you're gonna look at the back to make sure you're in the right place. So I went through negative one, and then the first place we're gonna go through is 14 on the Y axis, so that'd be coordinates of 0, 14. So I'm going to make sure I'm going in from the top okay. and through that hole. You might have to push a little bit because these are thick needles. And then you're going to slowly pull. Okay, don't go too fast or you will knot it. So I don't know if you can see, but I'm pulling it with my hand so that it goes through nicely. I'm going to pull it nice and tight. Okay. Now, at this point, you're going to go in through 13 on the y-axis here. And we're going through the back to the front. And you'll notice it comes out on this side of your first yarn. So same thing, pull it through. And 
make sure it doesn't knot up. And then here, we're going to be going through negative two. So I'm going to come over and I can see negative two is right here because it's back there. So if I'm looking, I'm coming through to negative two on the x-axis, bringing it down. Okay, so that's simple. So now I'm in through the front out through the back. So with this one now, I'm gonna go to negative three. Okay, and then I'm gonna pull it through. And make sure that I'm going slow so that I don't cause any of these knots. And if a knot just happens, just pause and unknot. little too tight. Now at this point, I don't think I can unknot that. So I'm just going to leave it as is, pull it through. Luckily it was not big enough for uh, the thing. Okay, so now I'm going to go through the top at 12. This time I'm going to hold up my yarn so that it doesn't cause the same knot problem. There we go. Okay, flip it over. Now again, I'm not gonna go down. I'm gonna go into the next one below. And then you are just going to repeat this process through all of the coordinates on the list that I gave you. Okay, so we finished the first coordinate here. Now at this point, you can choose to tape, snip, and then start in your next quadrant, or you can keep it going. So from here, um, I believe I go to the negative one. So I'm gonna pop through, through the negative one, and then you just keep doing the same thing through each of the coordinates. And if your string is covering up your coordinate numbers, you can go ahead and grab another little piece and um, tape it out of the way. So we'll go negative one, okay, on the back side, and then I'm gonna go up here to the inside. Now, if you wanted to go this way, you certainly can. So you could go the opposite way. Um, each coordinate, I have a list for you, but if you wanna go off on your own, if you saw the pattern and you think you can do it um, without the guide, go ahead. Um, I'm gonna maybe go off, off the guide here and try going this way and see how it turns out. But it's that same pattern of through the back, through the front, and then making sure that when you're on the back side, you're not crossing the from the Y to the X that's only in the front. So I'm gonna go down to this 13 
and then you keep going. Now, if you run out of thread, same process, you snip it off in the back and tape it down, and then you just keep going. Okay, and so now from two, two to negative three. And then that's just, make sure you're pulling tight, going in through the next one, and just keep it going. is done so there's some errors in it and that's okay I think that's the beauty of this project is it it'll be a little different every time and it looks a little different no matter which way you spin it um, but there it is now after this point you can be do a second one that's a little more challenging you can come up with your own pattern and it doesn't follow this simple coordinate planes uh, pattern, but definitely experiment, try different things, see if you can get each coordinate to be similar. And there's the back of it taped off. I'm going to snip this off so it doesn't hang again. And there it is. All right, have fun.